Hi, I'm Ed Devan and I'm a sound artist and instrument builder. In this video, I'll share some practical information about making stringed instruments using easy to find materials. I've made lots of stringed instruments over the years and haven't bothered to try to make copies of existing instruments. For me, the fun is in making new forms, exploring materials, refining building methods, and eventually arriving at instruments that make unique sounds. Before I show you how to make various stringed instruments, some background and terminology needs to be explained. Understanding the requirements of a stringed instrument will really help you in your own instrument building adventures. Stringed instruments have long existed. Some of the earliest known stringed instruments are believed to have evolved from the hunting bow where a string was kept under tension by a bent stick. The Brazilian berimbau is an example of this type of instrument that is used to this day. Roughly speaking, stringed instruments can be put into one of three categories zithers, lutes and harps. Zithers are a family of instruments whose strings are stretched across a typically hollow body. Examples of zithers are psaltery, dulcimers, auto harp, zhang and koto. Lutes are a family of instruments with a separate neck attached to a body. Examples of lutes from around the world include the violin family, guitar, sitar, bazooki, rebab and dombra. Harps are instruments with many strings running at an angle to the soundboard, in contrast to the zither, whose strings typically run parallel to the soundboard. What's a soundboard? Keep watching and you'll soon find out. Examples of harps include the Celtic harp, concert harp and chora. What all of these instruments have in common is a balancing of physical forces. A string needs to be held under high tension in order to vibrate effectively, and this exerts a lot of force on the material it is attached to. Therefore, stringed instruments are typically very rigidly composed of materials that can withstand these buckling forces and keep the strings under consistent tension. Stringed instruments can be made from a variety of materials, the most useful of which will generally be hard, rigid and resonant, such as wood, cardboard, metal and some forms of plastic. A string needs to be tied to a rigid material and stretched until it makes a desirable musical pitch. Firstly, the string must be in some way secured to the body of the instrument. Dedicated music strings can have ball ends, loop ends or simply be tied onto a solid part of the instrument. When improvising with wire, fishing line and rubber bands, tying or wrapping is usually the easiest method. Next, the other end of the string must be secured. The simplest instruments, like the ones shown shortly, can simply be tied at this end also, but there are a variety of mechanisms available for this purpose. Zither pins are a type of fine threaded screw that are hammered into wood and can be finely adjusted with a tuning wrench. Machine heads, as found on guitars, are a more convenient way of doing this, but take up more space. Tapered pegs, such as found on violins, use friction to stay in place, but are hard to fine tune which is why violin family instruments have dedicated fine tuners, which are a type of screw that exerts downward pressure on the string to increase or decrease tension. Just as crucial as securing the string at both ends is allowing its space to freely vibrate. In order to do this, the string is mounted on a device called a bridge at one end and a nut at the other. The bridge is a crucial part of the instrument as the vibrational energy of the string is transferred onto the soundboard through it. The soundboard is typically a thin rigid material such as a piece of wood which can vibrate for a long time when driven with a vibration source. As it has far more surface area than the string, it can transfer the mechanically coupled string vibration into the air as sound vibration. A resonator is usually a hollow vessel made from a rigid material that can support vibration. The soundboard is attached to the resonator, or can be one and the same thing. The air inside the resonator vibrates and bounces around the inside surfaces, reinforcing the sound of the string. Let's start simple with an instrument you can make in a minute. Find a small cardboard box, some rubber bands and a couple of pencils. Firstly, Wrap the rubber bands around the box. You'll notice that they won't freely vibrate as they are sitting flat to the surface of the box. 
Put the pencils under the rubber bands and secure at each end of the box to allow the string room to vibrate. Stretch the rubber bands like so to adjust the tuning. Not bad for a really simple instrument, but this type of instrument with rubber bands is really hard to keep in tune. Next we'll make a lute or an instrument with a neck. For this instrument I'm using a broomstick, a 5 litre water bottle, a short length of bamboo skewer, a piece of wood or pencil, some cable ties, gaffer tape, four short wood screws and some fishing line. Tools I used for this instrument are an electric drill, a broad awl, a wire cutters and a file with a sharp edge. Begin by drilling or boring pilot holes for the screws which will secure the broom handle to the water bottle and act as mounting points for each end of the string. Then use a drill or screwdriver to screw them in. Measure out a length of fishing line for the string. Tie a loop at one end of this and pull it over the body end screw. File or otherwise indent a small groove for the string to sit in at the other end of the stick and with the string roughly tensioned, wrap it a few times around the end screw before tying with a double knot. To tension the string properly, I've wrapped a piece of wood around it, then firmly secured this to the body with some gaffer tape. At this stage, the instrument should be making a decent sound. However, a bridge is needed for a clearer tone, especially when the string is played at higher frets. I've used a piece of bamboo kebab skewer here, but you could use a pencil or similar object. To finish the instrument and this video, I've added some cable ties along the length of the neck at positions that give me an approximately musical scale. Good luck with your instrument building, and be sure to check out my percussion video made for Hotter Than July.